Father, we give you glory. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. At this time, the praise team will come, and we just want to lift up the praise. We're going to lift up the uh, Judah in this house, and let's give God the glory. Hallelujah. Come on, praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, everybody.
many you really love him? Hallelujah. How many you really, 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 really love him? Say more than anything. Yes, yes. More than anything. Hallelujah. More than anything. 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 More
in this service this morning. Amen. And for that, we want to just give him thanks. Yes. Uh, announcements for today. Uh, Bishop would like to continue to thank you for the love offerings. And we continue to ask people to come and, do, and uh, be with us on Sunday mornings. If it's, if it's in their heart. <clears throat> but it don't matter if they don't come. All we have to do is invite them. Amen. And for the ones that are here this morning, God has made a way for you to make it here this morning. And that's what's so important, Lord. He didn't leave us out and he didn't fix it so we couldn't get here. He fixed it so that we could get here. Amen. And let us continue to invite our family, friends, strangers, and even those that don't know the Lord and the part of their sin. We're just going to ask God to keep on blessing in the name of Jesus. Our prayer list. Reverend West and Cornerstone, Bishop Wilson and Sally Rock, Reverend Mosley, Sisters, Or, Miriam, Brian, Chantel, Drama, Sister Angie, uh, Sister Katie, Reverend Santon, Deacon and Sister Gordon, First Lady West, and First Lady Wallace. We thank God for giving them a safe trip on last week and bless him to be back home safely so that they could have a good time while he was there and rejoice for them, him bringing them back here in the name of Jesus. My point for today is we complain about the cross we bear, but don't realize it has prepared us for the dip in the road that God can see and we cannot. Whatever your cross, whatever your pain, there will always be sunshine after the rain. Perhaps you may stumble, perhaps even fall, but God's always ready to answer your call. He knows every heartache, he sees every tear. A word from his lips can calm every fear. Your sorrows may linger throughout the night, but suddenly vanish by the dawn's early light. The Savior is waiting somewhere above to give you his grace and send you his love. May God fill your day and week with blessing. Be kind and necessary for everyone you meet is fighting some, some kind of battle. Okay. See the girl? I would just like for us to have to keep the faith in believing in something beyond what we can see. It is our faith that Cedar Grove Baptist Church has used this faith of yesterday as a stepping stone, today as a beginning, and tomorrow in unlimited possibilities. The Cedar Grove family wants to take this opportunity to thank each and every one who's here today. And let us continue to walk by faith. May each of your path be filled with joy, faith, and blessing. Our thought for today, thank you for the past, rejoicing in the present, and preparing for the future. And that's the end of my, uh, my announcement. I'd like to tell you on last Sunday, I had sent my phone with Sister Shannon to fix it for me. And that morning I woke up and I said, Lord, I'm not going to church because if, if something happened to me and my car stopped, I won't have no way of getting in touch with nobody. And then I sit there for a minute and the Lord said, well, you, but, but you forgot. I'm going to take care of you, whatever happens. So I got in my car and as I got in and started driving, I said, okay, Lord, you promised. And I'm standing on faith that I'm going to make it to see the grove and I'm going to make it back home. Yes. And I thank the Lord for that. Then on Monday morning, I got up and I said, Lord, I know I have to go to the bank, but I'm so scared to drive this car right now because I have nowhere calling nobody if it stops on me. So I went in the bank and I made my deposit. And when I left there, I said, okay, Lord, I need to go get my medicine. And CPS is just across the street from me. And I said, I need to get over there and get my medicine. 
So I got across there and I went in and I got my medicine. And when I got back to my car, it wouldn't say a word. And I said, thank you, Lord. I know what I can do. I can call somebody now and tell them, okay, Lord, the car has stopped and I need some help. So I called my daughter and she came and I said, I'm so sorry I called you because as soon as I called you and hung up, I said, you have AAA? Why are you calling somebody? So anyway, AAA came out and they told me what the little problem was. All right. But I thank the Lord that he blessed me so it didn't stop nowhere where I couldn't call him. Uh -huh. He took me everywhere I needed to go and then he let it stop. But it stopped in a place where it was people's and I wasn't alone. Amen. And for all this week, I had to thank him for that blessing. Yeah. Because it was truly a blessing for me. Yes, and thank you. And now you're in the hands of the... Amen. Amen. For faithfulness to God and the glory. Amen. Amen. We're getting ready for the word. Is anyone ready for the word this morning? Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Come on, lift up your voice. I'm ready for the word. Hallelujah, hallelujah. But I just want to tell you, Lord, you are good. Yes. You've been better than good to me. Hallelujah. Say, Lord, you are good. Yes, yes. You've been better than good to me. Yes. So many doors you open. Hallelujah, hallelujah. So many ways you made. Yes. So many times. Yes. You can fill in that blank. So many times. Hallelujah. You've been better than good to me. Yes. Hallelujah. Let's give hallelujah. Sister Trudy a hand as she comes forth. Hallelujah, you been a blessing all day this morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For you are good. Yes, yes. You've been so good. Yes, you have. Lord, you are good. Yes. You've been better than good. I can't praise you enough. I owe you my life. Can't
So many ways she So many ways she made. So many times she keep on saying. So many times she did. Oh, you've been better than good to me. 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 Thank you, praise team. Thank you. 
Verse 8 says, and you shall be my witnesses. And you shall be my witnesses. I just want to deal with the A clause, you shall be my witnesses. I want to talk about, I want to tag this text and talk about, is there a witness in the house? Is there a witness in the house. As you sit down, just tell yourself, I'm a witness. I'm a witness. Amen. Father, in Jesus' name, give us power to preach. Yes, Lord. This your sermon one more time. Thank you for the people of God, for these men of God. That God, as you're blessing this ministry, I give you praise, honor, and glory. Yes, it is in Jesus' name we pray. Together we say amen. amen. Is there a witness in the house? Amen. Brothers and sisters, boys and girls, ladies and gents, mm -hmm. in the world of law, yeah. of the law, and of legislative arena, mm -hmm. there is a such law called holding evidence. Yeah. It is a person that has been found guilty of withholding the evidence, of, watch this, that can help either sentence of, or let a person get out of prison. Right. Jesus himself says that there's, watch this, and also a consequence of, of holding evidence. Yes. For Jesus said, if you deny me before men, Jesus said, I will deny you before my father. Hallelujah. In other words, Jesus, he said, he said, if you hold up evidence of what I have done for you, he said, I will in return deny you before my father. For the reason he says that is the only way any of us will tiptoe in to heaven's headquarters is on the mere fact that Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life, and no man comes to the father except he comes before me. Now, brothers and sisters, in Acts chapter 1, Jesus told his disciples, you got to understand that a disciple and an apostle are two different things. While all of us should be disciples of Jesus, not all of us are apostles unto Jesus. For that word uh, apostle means uh, the sent out ones, uh, but yet that word uh, disciple, it is uh, for those uh, who have decided uh, and have made uh, a choice uh, that they are going uh, to follow the Lord. It was not contingent uh, upon uh, the sun shining, uh, but at the end of the day, uh, the Lord uh, is looking for those uh, who are disciples. What does does a, a disciple mean simply uh, it means those uh, that are disciplined uh, to walk uh, with God uh, no matter what's going on uh, in their life. And I don't know about you, I'm going to walk with God. It's not enough for me to say, walk with me, Lord, while I run this race in exchange that the Lord cannot say to me, walk with me, even when it's storming. But is there anybody here, you've got your mind made up that you're going to still walk with the Lord. you got your mind made up up uh, that you want to worship the Lord. Uh, you got your mind uh, made up. Uh, you got your heart fixed. Uh, I wish I had one witness uh, in the house of the Lord uh, that you would open up your mouth uh, and say he got a witness here. Uh, is there a witness uh, that is in this house? Uh, for I heard Jesus say, uh, you shall be my witnesses. Uh, but he said you cannot uh, be my witnesses witnesses uh, until you get power from all high. Uh, but once you got the Holy Ghost,
souls. Uh, I wish I had uh, a witness here. Uh, once you get the Holy Ghost, uh, you shall uh, be my witnesses. Uh, once you got the Holy Ghost, uh, you shall be my witnesses. Uh, I'm going to try one more time. Uh, once you get uh, the Holy Ghost, uh, you shall uh, be my witnesses. Uh, in other words, the Lord said, uh, the only reason uh, I'm going to give you the Holy Ghost, uh, I'm going to give you the Holy Ghost uh, so you can go ye therefore uh, and teach all nations, uh, baptizing them uh, in the name of the Father, uh, in the name of the Son, uh, in the name of the Holy Ghost. Uh, and I just stopped by here today uh, to ask somebody, uh, is there a witness uh, that is in this house? Uh, is there a witness uh, that he'll never leave you, uh, nor forsake you? Uh, is there a witness uh, like David was uh, when he said, I've been young, uh, but now I'm old, uh, but never have I seen the righteous uh, forsaken, uh, nor you see, uh, begging for bread. Uh, is there a witness uh, who'll pick you up, uh, he'll turn you around, uh, he'll place your feet uh, on a bed of ground. Uh, is there a witness? Uh, he'll heal your body uh, and tell you to run home. Uh, is there a witness uh, that there's no God like him? Uh, is there a witness uh, in the house of the Lord? Uh, if there is a witness, uh, you want to get the witness stand. Uh, is there anybody here uh, that can take the witness stand? Uh, come on, y'all, with me. Uh, let's take the witness stand. Uh, when you take the witness stand, uh, you can't talk about what you heard, uh, cause I heard uh, he's a good God. Uh, I heard uh, he make ways out of no ways. Uh, I heard uh, he's a bridge over troubled waters. Uh, I heard uh, there's nobody like him. Uh, but when you testify uh, about what you heard, uh, the devil lift up his hand uh, and say that's hearsay. Uh, but when you testify uh, about what you believe, uh, hey God, all right, uh, I believe uh, he came down uh, through 42 generations. Uh, I believe uh, he believed in the womb of Mary. Uh, I believe uh, he turned water into wine. Uh, I believe he healed the sick. Uh, he raised the dead. Uh, opened up blinded eyes. Uh, shall I believe? Uh, but when you believe uh, in the court of law, uh, that does not work. Uh, that's called conjecture. Uh, but can I testify uh, about what I know? Uh, have I got one witness here? Uh, is there anybody here uh, that can testify uh, about what you know? Uh, I know uh, my Redeemer living. Uh, ain't the Lord all right? Uh, I know uh, that all things uh, work together uh, to them that love God uh, and to them that are called uh, according to his purpose. Uh, shall I know, uh, though he slay me, uh, yet will I trust him. Uh, slip up your hand uh, and open up your mouth uh, and say, I'm a witness uh, about what I know. Uh, know that over 2,000 years ago, uh, he took my sins uh, to a hill called Calvary. Uh, I know uh, they hung him high, uh, they stretched him wide, uh, they dropped him low. Uh, shall I know, uh, I know uh, he died, I said, did he die? Uh, do you know he died? Uh, you ought to open up your mouth uh, if you know he died uh, and shout yes. Uh, come on, open your mouth uh, and say yeah. Y'all yeah. help me close it. Yeah. Shout I 
know, but I know the story don't stop there. Shall three days later, I said three days later, say Sunday morning, y'all know what happened. What happened? I said what happened? Say he got up. Say all power. Say all power. Say yeah. Come on. Yeah. He got up. But that's not all that I know. Jesus said the Holy Ghost ain't got all right. He said I must go so I can send the Holy Ghost. How do I know? I've got the Holy Ghost. Uh, he walks with me. Uh, he talks with me. Uh, do I have one witness uh, in the house of the Lord? Uh, can you say, yes, I got it. Uh, say, yes, I got it. Uh, I got the Holy Ghost. Uh, how do I know? Uh, I got the Holy Ghost. Uh, I can look people uh, that hate me. Uh, I got the Holy Ghost. Uh, I'm coming to the house of the Lord. Uh, and I'm by myself. Uh, say, yes, I got it. Uh, say, yes, I got it. Uh, if you got the Holy Ghost, uh, you ought to open up your mouth uh, and say, yeah. Yeah. I got it. Yes, I got it. Somebody say, I got it. I got it. I got it. I got something on the inside. I wish I had help here working on the outside. Shout out what a change in my life. Yo, I remember the day I got the Holy Ghost at the Grace Temple Baptist Church back in 1998, June 13th. Around two o'clock. Because if you got it, you y'all too quiet to me. If you got it, you know when it came. If you got it, you ought to say yes. Do you got the Holy Ghost? I said, do you got the Holy Ghost? Do you got the Holy Ghost? Let me ask you, do you got the Holy Ghost? Say yeah. 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 I got the Holy Ghost. Yes, sir. Yes. It tapped me on the shoulder well, when I ain't doing right. Amen. It encourages me yes. when I am doing right. Yes. The Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost. Tell me when to get stuff right. right. Do I have a witness? Yes, sir. Hallelujah. I got it. Yes, yes. Sir. And it won't leave me. Yes, he said, I'll never leave you. Yes, yes. Neither will I forsake you. Lo, I'm with you. Yes, yes. Always. Always. Yes. Even to the end of the age. Amen. Amen. Is there a witness? Yes, sir. Amen. No, is there a witness? Yes, sir. That I know my Redeemer liveth. Yes, yes. Is there a witness? That if you put your trust in him. Yes, yes. He'll never leave you by yourself. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Never leave you alone. Yes. Hallelujah. No, never alone. Yes. The Holy Ghost. Yes. Holy Ghost. Mama, I heard you talking. You ain't never by yourself. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That Holy Ghost will make you almost get in the carpool lane. Yes. All right. Because it feels like somebody in the car with you. Yes. Truth be told, there is somebody yes. Yes. in the car with you. Yes, sir. Do I have a witness? Amen. They think you're in a car talking to yourself. And you just have a little talk with Jesus. Yes, Tell them all about your troubles. Yes. He'll hear your faintest cry. Yes, Lord. He'll answer by and by. Yes, yes. John chapter 16, you read it in your private time. Jesus said, I got to go. Yes. Because if I don't go, the Holy Ghost cannot come. Amen, amen. They had the Holy Ghost with them. Yes. But Jesus left so the Holy Ghost can be in them. 
That's that's what's in you. Yeah. That when you do wrong, it makes you gotta do right. Amen. Amen. You know, you just do wrong and wrong and wrong and wrong and wrong. You ain't got the Holy Ghost. Yeah. That Holy Ghost will make you go tell folk you love. Yes. Yes. You know they don't love you like that. Mm -hmm. But Sister Angie, you still go back and tell them. Mm -hmm. We cool. Yes. Yeah. We good. Yes. Can the church say amen? Amen. Amen. I'm good. Come on. Clap your hands. Thank you. Let's, let's give God praise. We we'll leave her out before nine. Somebody want to say amen? Amen. We out before nine. I didn't get all my message in that I wanted to. But uh, there's always next Sunday. Amen. Somebody want to say amen. amen. Come on, give God hand praise. And the hand praises. Thank you, Brother Melvin, for helping us out with going live today. Amen. I appreciate everything. I appreciate everybody. Are y'all listening to me? I appreciate everything. I appreciate everybody. Amen. All right. Amen. All right. What we're going to do is uh, we're going to uh, get ready for our offertory, our offering for this Sunday service. Amen. Amen. And uh, I want to um, start off the offering today with with a seed of one hundred dollars. Hallelujah. Somebody ought to say amen. amen. I, I want you, if you amen. can, to get as close as you can amen. to that seed of $100. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Cedar Grove, for dealing with me. This, this is my fifth month here. Amen. amen. Somebody say amen. amen. This is my fifth month here. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. And counting. Amen. God is able. Yes, he is. Now, please stand and start from the rear. 